Life's sure been throwing me the old razzle-dazzle lately. Last week I was sick to my stomach and firing potions out both ends. And then last night, I'm talking to my girlfriend, when we hear this loud bang, it sounded like a tree had fallen on the fucking roof. Go exploring, there was no tree, but there was a smell coming from the basement, almost like uh, diesel fumes. Turns out it's the boiler. And I look, I look in the little window, there's flames, so I don't know, I'm like, ah, it seems like the boiler's having trouble, but maybe that's problems for next week's me. So I go take my evening shower, but come to find out that I was actually taking a shower with old man Winter, and he was giving me his cold, cold embrace. So half sopping wet, I go stomping down to the basement and see that, ah, despite the fact that the thermostat is calling for heat, no flame. All right, it's busted. Great. So spend the next two hours on YouTube, tr desperately trying to figure out what the fuck to do. And after tinkering with it for a while, uh, di diagnosed it with a broken igniter, because no matter how how much I open and close the igniter and put, pull the CAD cell. I put a screwdriver across the two little springs that create spark, nothing. So I'm like, okay, new igniter time. So it's the next morning now and I just went, uh, went to Home Depot and picked up a new one. Hopefully it's the right part, we'll see. As for the symptom of the claymore going off in my basement, well, what I think is happening is the, the burner starts up, it atomizes oil, into the chamber and it continues to fall up but no spark happens or the spark happens really really late because the igniter's on its way out and then it kicks in once it's already overly saturated and kablooey so we've got it somewhat taken apart let's flip it on close this for the cad cell nothing blower works fine so to take this off, of course, turn off your boiler, just undo these two bolts, pops open. Then we're gonna take off the uh, cat cell. Bing. Two Phillips screws. I already took apart the uh, electronics. So it just held together by a couple of screws. Now we're going to take off the white wire here, hold together by this wire nut. Pull that out. Likewise, we got this blue and white wire going to the orange wires. I'm going to pull that out. All right, out. One comes with these connectors. Don't need those, so just going to snip them right off. Strip the wire. All right. I'm gonna wire them back where I found them. Uh, I assume a boiler, every boiler is gonna be different, so just put it back where you found it. Good. Hey man, don't get screwed. Screws back in. Cat cell just kind of slides in, I think. Nice. All right, let's find out if I get to be warm. Power on. Oh yeah. We got spark. Nice. There's a lot of smoke coming out of here. Oof. Yeah, there's a lot of oil. That's okay, we gotta burn it off. All right. But almost buttoned back up. These are just 5 sixteenths. Oh, wait. I already, I already put them back. Just got to do these clips now. Bing. Right. Cover it back on. Flip. Woof! Gonna have to let that burn. Hopefully the smoke alarms don't go off. Even as I got it off, still going. All 
right, let it burn and now nice clean flame, no smoke. What? I don't want to smell this shit, come on. Whew. Is what it is, man. Cost maybe about $50 and maybe cost me a little bit of my sanity, but hey, works again. Well, that's good. Just goes to show you, DIY waits for no man. It'll get you in the butt in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Grocery shopping is getting weirder and weirder these days. Yeah. yeah. It was made by hands. Yeah, yeah. We are uh, Lovecraftian horrors and monsters that go around devouring stuff. It's not delivery. It's extreme! This food product will have you believe that somehow rebellious. For this one, my criticism is very peculiar and you have to be at least a level 77 epic gamer to understand. It's creepy. Creepy in the same way that in the game Blood, in a particular level, there's walls that just have these mouths. And it creeps me out all the same. Also, he's single. Yeah! <laughs>